Alright, hey guys. So, today I'll be talking about how I designed and built my compressor. I'll not be rebuilding it, but I'll show you guys and talk to you about how, what I did. So, all my, my compressor is to the right, my mold is on the left. But, um, literally all that is, is just a box. It's just a box that can withstand vertical pressure and a lot of it. That's why I have so many vertical supports on it because it's meant to hold pressure um, up and down. Um, so how it works is within that, within the compressor, I have, I use um, car jacks. These guys right here, I place those. I'll give you guys a demonstration in a little bit, but I place these inside the compressor. Um, they're not too expensive. Um, the more pressure you can get, the better. Those are each like twenty dollars or so. I think it's worth it though. I bought them from Walmart. Um, those go inside the compressor, and they compress up, up against the top, up against this top bar here that I put in. They press up against that. So here's an image without the mold inside of it and just the compressor by itself. I'll just walk around it. So there's basically enough, it's just a box, so it just has support on top and bottom, and because that's where the pressure is being applied. Alright, I'll show you guys how the mold looks inside, and with the car jacks expanded. Alright, so now everything is set up. I'm currently not making a skateboard, but um, if you can imagine, there would be a skateboard. Um, See that little crack? Oh, you kind of can't see it. But the crack goes um, through the board, through here, and there would normally be a skateboard in there. And that's how I compress it. It's in the mold. Um, here's another view of it from the side, where you can see the compressors. See, they're pushing the mold together. And it's basically just the top and bottom squeezing down. And um, it's not compressed because there's nothing in there. So this gap on top would be sealed shut if I were making a board, but <clears throat> the reason for that top board is just to give a little more support to this guy because there's only one piece on top here, and the car jacks are pressing directly up on these horizontal supports here. So all I did was see here, it's in the center, so instead of having it just pushing up against this single, 2x4 is pushing up against two of them. So it's like twice the strength downwards, because um, so, it, it does strain the wood. If I were to rebuild it, I'd build it with some sort of steel, because as you can see here, there's like um, pressure strains from the wood that goes down. And also, um, see these wood, this type of wood doesn't hold up as well. This brown wood is pressure treated, and it does hold up better than the standard wood. So, um, and also why I have these 2 by or 2 by 6s underneath the, um, the car jacks is because it distributes the weight better ac across the mold instead of just in those single spots. I have that on each one. Um, and yeah, here's just, I don't know, it's just a box. I've seen people design it differently. This is how I designed it, um. I've seen other people do it differently, but this is how I do mine. It's pretty extravagant and over the top kind of, but I'm sure you can find a more efficient way than this. That'll probably save you some money too, which is the plan. But um, yeah, other than that, I mean, you could see a few other design things I did. I altered the wood on either side here and just to give it better support, I guess. And the reason why these weird things are on the end is because my screws were too long and stuck it on the other side. So I just made it more secure and made it less dangerous with having nails sticking out. But um, yeah, that's my, that's my compressor. That's how I compress my skateboards together. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, I guess you can leave them in the comments or... Um, Use them on your own. I hope this inspires you guys to make some compressor of your own and try this process on your own. 
And uh, if you guys want to see some of the other video, it, <clears throat> some of the other videos I have where I show you guys how I make my skateboard um, from scratch through this process, you guys can go check those out. All right, thanks for watching.